So along with making these videos being a hobby of mine, I've also picked up photography over the last year or so. Uh, and I've really been kind of looking at getting a studio style flash that could be used outdoors. And that's when I came across the newer Vision 4. So I've been looking at these flashes or outdoor flashes for quite some time now. Uh, and I just really didn't want to spend the money on them because they're pretty costly. And if you guys have watched this video for any short period of time, you know I'm all about trying to find something cheaper. So let's go ahead and take a look at what comes inside. Okay, so this is the flash unit itself. It does have a Bowens mount on the end here. You also have a handle which doubles with a tripod stand and it also has, it looks like a hole here for filters, or not filters, but umbrellas. Okay, then we have the battery pack itself, uh, your charging cables, the transmitter for your camera, a sync cable, and also a sync cable for your flash or for your transmitter in case it doesn't accept the hot shoe. Uh, a screw for something. Your little light dome. And it also has a diffuser that will fit over the dome. Okay, let's talk specs real quick and then we'll throw it on a camera and give it a try. So the power output is 300 watts. It can go from one over one or full power down to 1 64ths. The recycling time at max power output is 2.5 seconds and at min is 0.4 seconds. The flash duration at full power is 1 200th of a second. It can do successive flashes in 3, 5, 7, 10, 12, and 15 shots. And the flash frequencies can be set to 1 hertz, 3, 5, 10, 15, and 20 hertz. It comes with a 13 watt LED modeling lamp. Color temperature is 56,000, excuse me, 5600. Kelvin plus or minus 200 Kelvin. Trigger voltage is a 5 volt low voltage trigger and says it has about a 20 meter effectiveness range for the transmitter. This flash can be triggered with either a sync cord, a photo cell, radio trigger, or test button. The flash tube is replaceable. For the dimensions, the dia diameter is 125 millimeters, length is 220 meters. It weighs 1.8 kilograms and says it gets a thousand shots off of a fully charged battery. And that battery is a 7,800 milliamp hour at 10.8 volts. And it says it should take about five hours to charge fully. Okay, so that's all the specs under. So let's grab a camera, slap the transmitter on there and take this thing for a whirl. Okay, we'll start by just Go ahead and toss in this. Uh, so that's what that screw is for. That's going to be to hold it onto a light stand. Okay, so once everything's all set up, there is a power switch underneath, so we'll just go ahead and turn that on. Okay, so like I mentioned, it does have a Bowens mount on the front, so you can turn that model lamp off so I don't blind myself. So you can mount any of your standard Bowen mount type of diffusers or anything like that on there. And as you can see, that is the modeling lamp. Toss this receiver. So the receiver also has a rechargeable battery in it. And it takes and it takes a CR2 three volt battery. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and take off that light dome so that way we can just stick an umbrella in there. And then we'll just turn it. We'll just turn the flash sideways so that way we don't strobe you out here. Okay, I'm just going to take and put this down at a very low setting here. Okay, so for full disclosure, uh, I do have my modeling lamp over or my other flash over here acting as a lamp for the video. Um, so it'll probably trigger when it sees this flash go off but we have our transmitter on top of our camera. So we'll just 
single flash there. Uh, but what I would like to see, because my current flash that I use indoors uh, does not, doesn't have high speed sync. So we're just gonna go to continuous shooting medium and see if this flash holds up to it. And it does. Of course, all I see is blue spots right now, but uh, it does. So that's really good. And as I mentioned, it does have a modeling lamp on it also. So, uh, but I think on this one, and we'll test it as I'm talking, I think it said after 30 seconds, this modeling lamp will turn off to keep it from overheating. So, so I will say this, it definitely works as advertised and it'll definitely get the job done. Okay, so as you saw after a while, that modeling lamp will turn off. So if you're looking for an outdoor light that will work with a modeling lamp, uh, definitely not gonna work for you. But for a regular flash, definitely gets the job done for sure, no complaints on that. So as I'm taking this apart, I'll kind of give you my thoughts on everything. Um, so it's definitely heavy and it's not really the smallest outdoor flash that's out there. Uh, there's definitely some other ones that are much, much smaller, even pocket sized, but you're talking about three times the price. Now, if I was a professional photographer and would be using it all the time, sure, uh, I would probably go ahead and, and get that. But for somebody like me who may every now and then go out and do some, you know, sunset photos with the, with the family or something. Um, and it, and if you're not familiar, if you've ever tried to take a picture of like the sun behind somebody, for instance, if you're trying to get a sunrise or a sunset photo uh, and the people kind of look like shadows, uh, that's because of how strong the light is behind it. With something like this, you can set up the flash in front of them so that way you can light up the subject while still getting the background at the same time. Of course, there's other options or other techniques you can use with bracketing and all that kind of stuff, but like I said, I've, I've been looking at getting into one of these, I'll call it outdoor flashes. So at a third of the price, it will definitely uh, get the job done for somebody like me who's just a hobbyist. So earlier we talked about this little diffuser. So yeah, that's definitely a nice little addition. Like you saw, you could travel around with one of these and call yourself Mary Poppins, or you could just have that little diffuser at the end on there. And like I said, what's great about this is that from one of my previous videos it can all fit inside our little case here and be good to go okay so that's going to wrap it up for us like i said that was the newer vision 4 wireless location shooting i'll put a link for it down in the description in case you want to check it out Okay, so that's gonna wrap up this video. Thanks so much for sticking around. If you found the content useful, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me. If you like unbiased reviews, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you hit that little bell notification, you'll get notified every time a new video comes out. If you have any questions about the product that we talked about today, just put that down in the comment section. I'll answer it to the best of my abilities. And as usual, if there's something that you wanna see reviewed, just put that down in the comment section and specify if there's anything in particular you want me to check out on it so I can put that in the video. Other than that, we'll see you next time. Bye.